Thank you. It's been a while since I've done public speaking, so bear with me for a second. So, uh, as uh, he's already alluded to, my name is Drop Thrill. Uh, I get that name because I love roller coasters and uh, because I'm weird and I like to go travel across the country doing that. Um, so, anyone here that is not familiar with the F3 Mental Battle, raise your hand. All right, great. So, F3 Mental Battle uh, was started uh, as a result of a workout a couple years ago and uh, a guy called Efri Miyagi. Uh, Miyagi uh, actually had a friend of his uh, commit suicide on March 27th a couple years ago. And as a result, uh, we started the mental battle uh, and we do it on, as a, an, on the anniversary on March 27th. Uh, of course, you can do it any time of the year. Uh, mental battle is all about what's up here, what's sitting here in your heart. Um, because as men, we tend to stuff our stuff. We tend to hide what we're struggling with. We tend to not tell the guy next to us what's going on. Uh, would you agree with that? Yeah. Get a good eye. Right. So uh, I am just over seven years in F3 now. And uh, when I joined F3, it was one of those things I did not know what I was missing. I was an extremely lonely guy. I was not married and at that time not still married. And, uh, you know, I, I've lived a pretty sheltered life. I've worked in banking most of my adult career. And it was pretty much go to work, go home, watch TV, get fatter, sit on the couch, go to bed, repeat. That was pretty much my life. Um, it was very miserable and lonely. But um, F3 entered my life after some headlocking that took about three months. <laughs> there were several guys that took to get me into F3. Um, about six months into F3 life, as it were, uh, I would sit there and said, something's different about my life. What is, the, what is going on? And I realized I wasn't so lonely anymore. I realized there was guys around me that encouraged me. There was guys that, you know, when I was struggling to work out, struggling to run, struggling to whatever, they would always pick me up, always pick up the six. And, it, you know, if you don't know about picking up the six, I encourage you to do that. Look out for the guy behind you, not just the guy in front of you. Look out for a guy on your left, the guy on your right. I, I so, um, so seven years ago, joined F3. And then about three years ago, uh, Miyagi and Arobi, uh both used to be out of Louisville, they started the middle battle workout. It was just supposed to be the workout and that was gonna be it. But um, if you know anything about uh, Q-Source, the D2X is kind of where your, your dynamite is personally. Well, it, it hit me like a ton of bricks uh, that the middle battle was gonna be my D2X. That is, uh, my mother had mental health issues. Uh, she had uh, chemical imbalance. We don't know exactly what she had. Uh, because she was very private about all of it. But she struggled for the, for about 30 years before she ended up uh, passing away due to kidney failure uh, back in 2014. So if you can do the math, I joined in March 2014. In December 2014, my mother passed. Um, and it was some Union County guys, Glass Joe being one of them, Hairband being another, that rallied around me during that whole process. And they you know, really, really walked me through everything, really walked me through the grief. Uh, we didn't, she went through about six months of hell on earth. That's the best way to describe it. She was in and out of the hospital all the time. And then anytime you're dealing with chemical imbalance, anytime your body goes out of whack, your kidneys, whatever internal order, organs, uh, that's going to throw the middle part out of whack as well, even worse. So, um, and I should say, I'm not a professional when it comes to this stuff. I am a professional for other things as well, but, uh, but just, uh, just want to share from my heart. So, um, in, in the sense of time, I don't want to take up too much of your time here, but I do want to share a couple quick stories here, or one of the quick stories here. Um, one of my favorite books is called, uh, Battlefield of the Mind by Joyce Meyer. I can't recommend this enough, even if you're not a believer I highly recommend this book because it just it talks a lot about what do you do with 
your pain? What do you do with your grief? What do you do with, um, you know, just struggling with life? Because everybody in this semicircle here, every one of us has our struggles. That's one of the things I, I learned at F3. Even the guy that's like in the best shape, look, the guy that looks like Dread. Dread's like in the one of the most, you know, for his age, whatever, he's in great shape. He has his struggles too. And that's one of the things that really resonated with me that, you know, it's not just about, you know, there, there is no perfection is what I'm trying to say. So I wanted to share this uh, quick story here and uh, share a song and then let you guys get on your way for the day. So this is about uh, the story of Peter walking on the water. Um, so jump into it here. So, but the boat was by this time out on the sea, many furlongs distance from the land, beaten and tossed by the waves for the wind was against them. And in the fourth watch between, which is between three and 6 a.m. of the night, Jesus came to them walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified and said, it is a ghost. And they screamed out of fright. But instantly he spoke to them saying, take courage. I am, stop being afraid. I'll, I'll read that again just for emphasis. So he says, take courage, I am, period, exclamation point. Stop being afraid. And Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, come. So Peter got out of the boat and walked on the water, and he came toward Jesus. But he perceived and felt the strong wind. He was frightened as he began to sink. He cried out, Lord, save me from death. Instantly, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him and held him, saying to him, O oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? And when they got into the boat, the wind ceased. So, so why do you think he doubted? And this is for anyone. Shout it out. Took his eyes off Jesus. Took the wind. So he took his eyes off Jesus. He saw the storm. He saw the trouble in life. Before, when he was just focused on, you know, his creator, he was just walking in the water. This is something that most of us will never do. I've ridden on the water on a couple of roller coasters, but I've never walked on water. So, um, but where is your focus is what I would leave you with this morning. What are you, are you being positive or are you being negative? I, I think as men, we tend to you know, drift toward the negative sometimes. We think about the bills, we think about whatever. Um, we think about, in my case, you know, I've, I've, oh. okay. So, you know, there's so many things that you can have in your own head. Um, I would just leave, leave you with that. Where is your focus? Um, I do want to get you out, get guys out of here as quickly as possible if my washboard. Have I got about five more minutes or so? Is that good? Okay. So uh, I wanted to leave you with uh, two things. Um, shame is something that many people deal with. Uh, shame is one of those deep-seated things that we just don't talk about. Um, I know I, I've dealt with shame myself. One of, that's my gesture. That's one of the things I struggle with so much. Uh, for many reasons, but I finding I'm finding so many things, you know, so many universal things across the the board. Everybody struggles with all this stuff. It's not unique. You're not alone. Finally, I want to share this song, um, and I want to give her credit. Where's credit due? And if it won't work, there we go. So uh, Mary Clayton is someone you've probably never heard of. She was a background singer in the 60s and 70s. And Mary, uh, there, there's really famous songs that she was a background singer. She was on one of the Rolling Stones songs. She was, you know, the, the list of who she, she was background singer for is pretty amazing. She's one of the people that she didn't need to be a background singer. She was an amazing singer on, on her own, in her own right. So um, recently, she was in a terrible car accident and she lost both legs beneath the knee, which is something that for most people would have devastated them to be a, become a double amputee late in life. 
um, have over her faith in the Lord above got her through that and she's recorded an amazing gospel album um, and the, the the lead song is called Beautiful Scars um, I tried to find the lyrics and just quote them to you but I think it's probably going to be better just to let her do it so <laughs> I'm not going to sing it for you but this is uh, this is Mary Clayton I wanted to share a bit of this it's called uh, Beautiful Scars just listen to the lyrics um, Damn. So, uh, in closing, I just wanted to uh, give you guys a, a heads up. If you're, if you're on Twitter, uh, check out at Battle on Twitter. So, that is where you'll get most of your source of information from the F3 Metal Battle. Uh, also, if you're on the Nation Slack channel, there is a Metal Battle uh, channel now on the Nation Slack channel as well. So, um, with that, I'm just glad, glad to be here, guys. Thanks for listening and being attentive. Appreciate it. Thank you.